In this video, we'll see how we can draw geometrical shapes like a cone fitted on a hemisphere, cylinder on a hemisphere, cone on a cylinder, truncated cone, then a cylinder with a portion removed. So let's see how we we'll do that. So with the first one, you go for the shapes that is the one with a cone fitted on a hemisphere so you just follow the action as you are seeing on the screen so you pick the arc and draw the shape you see just have to adjust very well and change the color to any color you want so we go for the oval shape and draw this and fit it onto the hemispheric the first arc that we drew Adjust it very well to fit. So this makes it look like a cone on a hemispherical base. So You can insert more shapes to indicate the radius of the hemisphere. So that is the center of the hemisphere. And this is the radius. Another red eye. So you can change it to dashes. Good. So we managed to draw this geometrical shape of a hemisphere beneath a cone. So we can refit it neatly. So we duplicate it. Now let's select all and group it so that we can move it. Fine. Now we can just pick the cylinder and draw it and fit it on it. Now let's fit a cone on a cylinder. A cone on a cylinder. So you can just go here and pick this one. So let's ungroup it and we can pick this. Copy it, come and paste here. Duplicate the cylinder as well. And it fits the triangular shape on it to look like a cone on a cylinder. A cone fitted on a cylinder. 
if you like you can indicate the height the radius to duplicate you just click on the shape and click control hold the control key on the keyboard and press and press the D control press D if you don't want it to you can delete it you can indicate the height of the corner as well so that is how you fit a cone on a cylinder now let's draw A truncated cone so we pick the arc then we draw what it drew here then we pick the oval shape and draw what we have drawn so we pick the line and draw the line connected as we see so it needs a little bit adjustment you can do that can indicate the height of the truncated cone a cone that is truncated is cut the top is cut truncated cone good now let's look at a cylinder that portion is removed so you just follow the action and do what is being shown so you can duplicate the line or you can pick another line and draw the height Indicate this side too. Mm -hmm. So you can change the shape, the color to any color you want. Then you can also change. the lines the one within two dashes so you select them and you change it to dashes thank you for watching up to this point see you in another video